Hello and welcome back. In this video we will go over the different versions of Windows. Which one do you have? Well, before we get into that, let's do a little bit of Windows history. So, Windows versions. Windows is a Microsoft product. You may have heard Microsoft Windows before, and that's what this is. Windows 1.0 was released on November 20th, 1985, so it's been around for quite a while. It allowed computer users to use a graphical interface instead of typing commands. A long time ago, you would actually have to type words into your computer to make it do anything. And to make it easier, that's what Windows is for. You can just point at something and click on it using a cursor and a mouse, which we did go over in a previous video. So, moving along, here are some very old versions of Windows. Windows 1.0, 2.0, 95, 98, Millennium, and so on. All of these are very old. So, if you see a computer with one of these versions, it's extremely old. You probably should not use it. You will run into problems with it just because it's very out of date or no longer supported. Moving on from here is Windows XP. Now this is a more modern Windows operating system. It was released on October 25th of 2001. Its end of life was in April of 2014 and Microsoft no longer supports this version. So what the end of life means is basically it was deprecated. We're not supposed to be using it anymore. However, I bring it up because a lot of people still have it and because of that you may want to consider an upgrade or getting a new computer if you do have it. Moving along from there is Windows Vista. The full release of Vista was on January 30th of 2007 and you may notice here let me get my mouse out here my cursor there are some neat little widgets and that's what they call, were called widgets on the right here those were newly introduced and it looks a little bit different. Now it wasn't widely accepted, largely because there were a lot of bugs and it was very overly secure. It asked a lot of questions whenever you wanted to do something and people just didn't like that. So in response to this was Windows 7. Windows 7 was released on October 22nd of 2009 and was and still is very well accepted. So you can see here Windows 7 has the start menu here and this kind of transparent looking taskbar. This transparent effect, you notice how you can kind of see the background through there? That's called Arrow, which was introduced in Windows 7 as well. Very neat feature here. So that's the Windows 7 desktop and here is the starting screen for Windows 7. So you, when you turn your computer on, there's like a little starting screen that comes up and this is it right here. Now, since Windows 7, there's Windows 8, which was released on October 26th of 2012. It introduced apps. Now, apps are these kind of like small programs, like you would run on a phone. They also introduced the Metro Start Screen, which instead of a start menu, you had a screen. But unfortunately, they removed the Start button which was very, very controversial and not very well accepted. And there were several other reasons. Um, if you look here, so I'll take the mouse, see right here, there is no start button. And that's one of the things that were very controversial about it. Kind of like Windows Vista, it had a lot of buggy issues as well. However, it did work on multiple types of devices. With that said, it worked on a tablet, a desktop, or a laptop. However, because of the bugginess and a lot of people saying things about it, Windows 8.1 was released the next year, in October 18th, 2013. It was considered kind of a quick fix to Windows 8. It restored the Start button, but not the Start menu, which still had this Start screen. So, if you look right here, there is that little button there. 
and that's the new start button. Whenever you click it, this start screen would come up and you could choose your app or program, whatever you wanted to start from there. So I'm sure at this point you're like, okay, well, this is great. You've shown me all of these and it's neat. I don't remember anything you just told me, but uh, why do I need to know it? Well, first thing is if you do have computer issues, you will probably be asked what Windows version you're using. And a lot of programs, if you wanted to purchase one, also require you to know what Windows version you use. There's a myriad of other reasons as well. So at this point you're saying, okay, well, how do I actually find out what my Windows version is? Well, I'm going to tell you. What Windows version do I have? To do that, there's just this neat little trick. You just press the Windows key and R at the same time. So the Windows key is this one right here. It looks like it has this little flag on it. And then you want to press this and the R key at the same time. This plus just means do them together. So the Windows key and R, a box will appear. And then you will type W-I-N-V-E-R in the box and press enter. So since I'm here, I might as well do that. If you notice, there's that little box there. It actually says run. And I'm going to type in the box W-I-N-V-E-R. Press enter. And as you can see, it shows that I have Windows 8. Now, I do want to point something out here, however. You do need to read the whole thing. It says the Windows 8.1 Pro Operating System, and etc. So this is actually Windows 8.1. But that's a pretty easy way. Again, it's just press this key and this key. You'll receive that box we just saw. You type in Winver. W-I-N-V-E-R with no spaces, and this box will appear to tell you what Windows version you have. Okay, so moving on from here. Windows for servers. Well, right now, from this point forward, you're probably not going to use this. A server is not a user and machine. Um, I'm just showing you this because it is a type of Windows. And what about the future of Windows? Well, in September of 2014, Windows 10 was announced. And I do have a picture of it here. This is a technical preview of Windows 10. And one question that's pretty common right now is what happened to Windows 9? And I don't have an answer for that. But I do know it restored the Start menu, or something like it. So if you look, there's a Start button, and you have your Start menu but it's got something like the start screen to the side of it. So it's kind of like a hybrid. But in any way, this is what's coming after Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1. We now have Windows 10. So that's a lot, pretty much it for Windows. What about operating systems that are not Windows? Well, they do exist. So just because something's an operating system does not mean it's a Windows operating system. And here are a couple of examples that are very common. So the first one would be Apple Mac OS X, which is this. It's a Macintosh. And there's another one called Linux, which this is their mascot tux right here, or Ubuntu, Debian, and Red Hat. Well, I hope this was very helpful for you. I know it was a lot of information. Remember, you can watch this video again, and you may want to reference this video again at some point, so you may want to mark it. But make sure you watch it again if you need to. Take notes where you need to take notes. And I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you again.